Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. As you guys know, I have been mad Christmas crafting and I have thoroughly enjoyed every process of it. And I have just been so enjoying using all of the wonderful goodness that is related to Christmas or the colors that are related to Christmas. I have been just freely using resin cabochons, charms, beads, um, textured materials, papers that are all Christmas related and just had so much fun putting things together. What I have in front of me right now is loaded clipboards. Now this is part of a mail that's going to be going out. I have joined Australian Christmas Group Swap. I have always admired watching um, craft purges, group swaps, mommy and me crafts, group swaps, and so many other people in America doing group swaps and everybody feeling the joy in creating and sharing. And I have always thought it would be so nice if that was here in Australia. And creativity activist Edna here in Australia has um, asked if I would be interested in joining. So I thought, why not? Let's have fun with it. So I have joined it and I am so glad that it's all finished. Now I must say I have finished it way earlier than the deadline and that is because I was creating Mad Christmas way before she had asked me to join. I just wanted to create in any theme, any season this year and 2023 crafting has been so wonderful for me because I just followed my heart creating in whatever I wanted to. So I probably am not going to dismantle both of them. They are very similar. The layout is exactly the same. Maybe some color theme is a little bit different. For example, this one here has the minty snowflake banner back topper, and this one has the minty uh, iridescent Christmas charm theme uh, bead dangle here. Whereas this one here has the pinky Christmas bead dangle theme here. So I am going to show you the bead dangles close up so you guys can see what's in it. So I've got like lots of pepperminty colors and Christmas colors, like, you know, pink Christmas colors. I've got hearts and gingerbread home. I think I only had one of those and I used it. I was happy to use even the pieces that I only had one of. Like this snowflake piece here was nice to add. Little candy cane charm. It's just been so wonderful just using things without saving anything. You know, sometimes as crafter, if you only have one of something, you feel like kind of holding on to it. Well, that's not what I did this year. I just freely used everything. And I loved how I was able to use this uh, 3D puffy looking heart. And then I dangled a tiny heart at the bottom of this um, heart as well. So that's one lot here. Now let me show you this one here. This one has the sparkly chunky cluster bead at the top and it's got some minty candy bead. It's got Noel on there, a uh, candy cane charm, this glass bead that has the uh, red and the mint mix as iridescent ones, some star bubble charms. Uh, it's got the Christmas wreath, the tree. It's just, um, it's got even a gold acorn and different color green theme items and Christmas tree as well. And it looks like this. And at first I wasn't sure what type of clip I'm supposed to use for the clipboard, but I found two exactly the same style, which I really like. And these were the only two that I had, the mint one and the pink. So I thought one person's gonna get the mint and the other person's gonna get the pink. And I also had two of the heart clips and I also had some pick clips. So I used those as well to hold everything in nicely. I also added this large snowflake ornament. This can go on a tree or it can go on packaging. The future recipient can do anything they wish to with any of the things that are in this clipboard. 
I also use some heart clip as well to hold things on the side. So let me go ahead and show you. So you can easily move this the other way. Isn't that just pretty? Just looking at it like that. I really love that. Now I do realize that um, the stuff that I have put together, let me just put that aside. I feel like I have really loaded it up. Like it's it, it's not just on the front, it's actually things on the back as well. And I even felt like adding more, but I realized, you know what, Sole, that's way too much. So it won't hold. My clip is just gonna not hold things. So I have shared my beautiful layered rosettes and I have a video showing you that. So I'm, I don't have to go into detail of that, but I did package it using that beautiful snowflake bag topper that I made with the paper straw and the pom-poms. So I've got that. And then I think this one, I do have to take it apart to show you guys what's in the content. Then I have made this uh, shaker mug embellishment, which I have shared, but I have not shared the gingerbread girl ice cream. Now this is an ice cream pot. It says peace on earth, December 24th. And I have decorated with gem stickers. And this sweet gingerbread girl, I cut out using some doodle bug Christmas paper. And this peace on earth, uh, the piece was actually printed on the vellum already, but the on earth in the December 24th is the Tim Holtz rub on. I have included some gold mesh as part of, um, a packaging that's actually been laminated. And so the future recipient can actually take off the embellishments and use that laminated sheet to put on something else and then send it to their future Happy Mail recipient also. On the other side, I have included those uh, KS Craft Die Polaroid Camera Die embellishments that I have made. And I have made it in like pastel colors and I am going to take this one out to show you because I have not shared these. I have made several of these, but I am gifting two for each recipient. And I love all of the different papers and the puffy stickers that I've added. Even the button piece. That's a button piece and I made it flat by cutting off the back. I used some chipboard from the Prima Marketing Candy Cane collection. And I used different foil paper, foil stickers. I used some different chipboard here. It's just been so much fun, you guys. So that goes here. And this is a wrapping paper that I turned into a gift bag. So the recipient can use that to put some goodies in for their future mail to someone else. So I've got that. Then here I have, so I'm gonna take this off the paper clip. Here, these are the ones that I have recently shared and I'm not gonna take these out of the bag cause you can go and watch my previous videos to find my gingerbread home that I decorated using all of the resin cabochons and I had so much fun doing that. Then I have the circus tent that I turned into Christmas theme as well as the uh, bag um, backpack that I have also shared in my BB craft video. And then I've got these two clear bags being held by this clip here. This is a little tiny deer, sweet deer badge with the heart. So the recipient can take that off to use for gifting as well. And that's going to be clipped onto this heart clip here. Now, I am going to show you my clipboard. So this is my clipboard. So let me put the clip back on here so you guys can tell how it is. So it's like this. I believe it was like a six by eight size I made. And I used many different kinds of paper. Let me just take the clip off so I can show you easily. I use some sticker pieces, ephemera piece from, that's actually from Garden Party, but because it was a pink house and because I was going for the 
pink Christmas that also included the traditional colors of the green and the red. I thought this house matched this Christmas home sticker so nicely. So I used three different homes and a Christmas tree. I also added some snowflake stickers and some gold star stickers throughout. This is my pink snowy uh, sky. And the bottom here, I used a large alphabet die to cut out Christmas. And the lettering is cut out with the candy cane stripe pattern paper. And it's actually being stuck in the snow. You know, like this is a glittery, snowy foam material. And to get this shape, I used the border um, die that I had from Lawn Fawn, which I bought many, many years ago. And I got to use that. And I'm so happy I got to use that and that it helped me create a nice Christmas scene. And here is a boy uh, push, uh, with the sleigh. And I also found this uh, a Christmas deer sticker that had Mary on it. So it became Merry Christmas. It's now spring, but we're entering summer pretty much. It's getting really hot here now in Australia. And the other side, I covered it with the Prima marketing paper. I love Prima marketing paper. It's such wonderful quality. It has beautiful mixture of the modern vintage that I like. And I get to mix it with the modern stickers and things. And it just looks so nice. So this is my clipboard, you guys. A Christmas winter scene. I loved doing this. And this idea came to my head pretty straight away. I didn't have to even think about it. So I really love that. Now what I'm including at the back. I have also shared these embellishments with you guys. It's a Santa mug with the gingerbread boy and some cream and Christmas tree and candy cane. And I did a pinky theme for this one. Then I also shared the uh, Christmas mixing bowl. It says making spirits bright, believe in the magic. This one I have shared before as well in my previous video. So you guys can go and have a look. This is a shaker embellishment that I have not shared. And so I will take it out of the bag to show you guys. This is a cotton candy dye that I used from KS Craft. I also got to use many of the puffy stickers for this one here to decorate this one. And actually, I did share this cotton candy embellishment in my BB Craft project share. And I just absolutely loved using the bow bead as the finishing touch. And I got to use the iridescent mesh tool as well. And I loved how I layered another tiny star on top of the other star. So stay cozy. I think this is the one I haven't shared. This is the winter glove shaker embellishment that I made. I got to use some chipboard and puffy stickers to decorate. I just love, love this. And I might as well show you guys how I did this. So I had a textured uh, mesh, which uh, I put in between the laminating sheet and I put it through the laminated machine and it gave me a sturdy base. And also I can um, make my embellishment shine better because if I use a heavy pattern paper on the back, sometimes I feel like the embellishment gets lost in the packaging. And so I did not want that to happen. And also I thought the future recipient can easily use this laminated sheet again to send their future happy mail if they wish to. So there's that. In this uh, gift bag that I made using a wrapping paper, it's really nice and spacious. You can put a, quite a lot in there. I have also shared these bows with you, but I have not packaged it in the video. I shared the bows with you guys. Um, I packaged them up using this lovely sprinkle pattern paper. I love all of my bows and I added some flour too. 
and I have shared these umbrella embellishments with you guys before and I put it at the back I have one for the recipient to decorate themselves so this goes in here then this is a iridescent bag filled with all of the die cuts so it's even got like those special rosette dies die cuts and it's got joy love peace believe christmas die cuts in there it's got word die cuts like love and happy it's even got um two giant boat making set in here as well and there's like christmas trees in there and all sorts so the future recipient can easily use this in their christmas crafting so that's everything that's included in my clipboard and i hope my future recipients will love everything i have put together so this is one component of the group swab i also have a loaded tag flip to share with you guys and i will do that in the next video now i have to now put this back as it is as how it was by looking at this one here so that this is how it's going to look so that's the front and that's how it's going to look at the back thank you so much for being here you guys and i look forward to sharing with you guys my loaded tag flip next time bye for now